Welcome back to Vermonters, guys. Um, today we're in No Till Seating. And yeah, it's awesome. Check it. So basically, we're in No Till Seating, perennial ryegrass, and tall fescue. We have to do 44 acres. He's not even done with the 24 acre section. So we're gonna be busy today. Yeah, I'll show you some cool clips in a second. But first, gotta take a little cruise and listen to music. <laughs> Woo! Party! I get my license in October. Hopefully I pass, we'll see. Woo! Walk radio, it's killer guys. What's up chickies? Okay. 32 eggs. The chickens literally go like way to the house over there. It, they go there every single day. They go to the road. And they go so far. It's pretty crazy. And they always come back here at night. They walk miles every day. So you stay here. Now let's go see what he's doing with the no-till cedar. On the cows, make sure everything is good. What's up, guys? What's up, ladies? How we doing? Chickens drink their water. Cool. Gotta clean them. What's up, guys? How we doing? That, that's Eddie Jr. over there. The one, 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 all the way to the left. He's awesome. So when we wean the cows, we have to wean them for two months. So, they're going to be in the bunker for like a month, which is going to stink. Because the prior owner said that if you put them in here, because we're near the cows and all that. If you put them in here, and their moms are out there, they'll go right through that fence. A five-strand electric fence. I don't know how it's possible, but I trust them, so. This, yeah. What's up, guys? How's the hay taste? So, we're feeding second cut. Last year's second cut right now. Hi Cinderella, how you doing? Cinderella's been kind of mean, mean to me lately. How you doing? You're good. How you doing? I know you like that, don't you? Eddie's like my brother. It's gonna be really sad taking him. But, you know, he hates me anyway, so. Eddie! Where are you, bud? Oh, I see him. He's right there in the middle. Eddie! How you doing today? Huh? How you doing? How's the hay taste? Is today a good day? That's a flower. She gets really mean. So I'll just keep my distance. Come on, bud. What's up? He's like the only cat that lets me pet him. I used to be able to pet Donald, but he gave up on me. So I, I kind of, I try to keep the water tubs pretty clean. Because, you know, if they can't drink it, then how can we, or if we can't drink it, how are they supposed to drink it? You know, it's not fair. You should always get clean water. So basically this mess, previous guy who did this, um, he, he kind of messed up on the walls. So we have to 
basically we can't build the building on top of that because the bolts do not line up and the wall is not like structurally strong because there's, there's barely any rebar in it so basically we have to extend the whole steel building and this stick frame that so you have to extend the whole steel building an extra 20 feet which should take the place of that we have to dig 20 feet here and then i'm gonna pour more footings and then they'll pour the walls and then we'll put the steel steel building here so the whole building is 140 by 50. by doing this it gives us 20 extra feet of garage space or of cold storage so that's kind of good in a way i mean it's more money sadly but yeah I top it off. There's so much seed. There's like one every two inches. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? I'm tired. It's a lot of work. What should I show them on the farm? Oh man, you got a lot of dust. Oh, it's dead. spins and it takes like little seeds out of time and they, they go down that little tube and they go into the ground so it's plowing the ground and putting seeds seeds in, seeds in at the same time so it plows it and then it releases the seed in and let's focus that you gotta like look for the seed it like buries it too pretty cool and also wherever we dug up rocks wherever wherever we disturb the ground it grew way better like it was really tall and thick and compared to the rest that was not touched and our ground's so hard you like touch it and you're like oh my god it's like a rock when you fall on it this also aerates the ground too it acts as an aerator it's not an aerator but it it kind of does both wow it looks nice too it's like we planted corn <laughs> 